I'm David, um, I'm from Kenya, that is Africa. I'm a teacher. In high school, I teach girls. And my project has evolved from a long, long, long way and stand to be uh, learning with, for, and in the community. All those ones combined. Formerly, we didn't have infrastructure, as you say. But I thought of it, and I said, technology is coming, and we are not going to have an excuse that we didn't have the infrastructure in place. So, and we didn't have a room instead. But uh, I managed to convince my principal and the administration, and we changed an old bathroom, or the toilet, and just with the work of the student, we painted it, closed everything, covered all the holes, and I went up out there and managed to get a few friends who gave me very old, old computers, about five of them, that brought, and the bathroom became our IT hub. And uh, I started doing my projects from that small bathroom, and I managed to go all the way up to the Worldwide Innovative Forum last year in, in, the, in, the, in South Africa. Now, when I came back, I thought it was not only wise to know it myself, but I wanted to spread it out. And my idea and my aim was enabling learners to read what they learn in the classroom within the context of their immediate community and surrounding. This brings reality and life to teaching and learning experience. We realize technology is meaningless if it's not relevant to the life of the student and the learners and the life of my community. Because many teachers were not understanding what I'm doing. They say, what for? We know computers just for typing, and that is it. And what about internet? Internet is full of evil. Um, Facebook, Facebook, no, 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 no. If you, you, are, you are not a Christian to go to Facebook, and all that kind of thing because of lack of knowledge and information. But I've really managed to do this. Then I realized the only thing which is good, those are some of the projects that we do with my students in the community. They go maybe even to like an hostel, we partner or collaborate with a local hostel. They go testing their blood, donating blood, finding out about food, diseases related. They come to class, bring it to the biology teacher and the science. Everything is connected. It is a lovely, lovely experience. But I realized that's not enough. I would end up doing it alone. So I needed the support of the other teachers. So I've decided to do the same with the teachers. I'm cascading everything I learned. I decided now to start, to start teaching teachers, building the competence and confidence among other teachers to do the same. And the response is just amazing. Many teachers are coming on board and have made it really my passion and they love the whole idea of intervention. Thank you very much.